By now, the player base had become exhausted of Necroz dominating the format, so much so that in July of 2015, one company tried to take matters into their own hands. On July 7th, 2015, Alter Reality Games, or ARG, released their first custom ban list exclusive to their series of events that they held around the country. Jin Releaser of Rituals, Fusion Gate, Lavaval Chain, Necroz of Trishula, Royal Magical Library, and Vanity's Emptiness were all now banned under the new ARG format. Seer, Mallow Branch of the Burning Abyss, El Shadal Construct, El Shadal Fusion, Elemental Hero Bubbleman, Elemental Hero Stratos, Instant Fusion, Mistake, Necroz of Unicorn, and Wind-Up Carrier Zenmeidi were all limited to one copy each. Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss, Dragon Ravine, Insector Hornet, Rescue Rabbit, Summoner's Art, Torrential Tribute, and Wind-Up Magician were semi-limited to two copies per deck. And finally, Chaos Sorcerer, Dark Hole, Glow Up Bulb, and Sacred Sword of Seven Stars were now unlimited to three copies. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Oh, I am so happy we're finally here. In my opinion, the ARG CS adjusted ban list is the most interesting thing to ever happen in the world of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm so happy I finally get to explain it to you all. We've talked about Alter Reality Games multiple times over the course of the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! This third-party tournament organization was running a championship series parallel to Konami's. Now, this wasn't that uncommon at the time. TCG Player was doing something similar, but the ARG CS was renowned. The quality of player was unbelievable, with pros making the drive in order to clean up these tournaments. So in the middle of 2015, when player dissatisfaction was at an all-time high, they decided to do something. In the world of official Konami-sponsored tournaments, YCS season was over. There weren't really any events to attend outside of Nationals and Worlds until at least the start of September. But the ARG Championship Series wanted to continue to go strong. With no incentive to change the format, because no large-scale events were happening, Konami was happy to let Necroz run rampant for another couple of months. Players, however, were frustrated by this. The deck remained extremely expensive, prohibiting a significant amount of players out of playing the format at all. Sound familiar? The mirror had been beaten to death. Individuals were sick of sitting down and seeing exclusively ritual cards eight rounds in a row at events, and the gap between pro players and your average Andy was so pronounced that normal people felt like they just couldn't ever crack into a top eight. This caused ARG to do something unprecedented. In an announcement video that featured, and I'm not joking here, Nim Nim, they revealed that they had, in secret, been developing and were now releasing their own ban list. Now, as I'm sure you heard in the introduction, this list was radically different than Konami's. It took the problem cards out behind the shed, Vanity's Emptiness, uh, Jin Releaser of Rituals, Laval Chain, but also it banned cards like Trishula that made Necroz a problem independent of unfair situations that prevented special summoning like Vanity's Emptiness and the Jin Lock. ARG also explained that this list would be in effect for the tournaments that they would be hosting over the next couple of months, and that after every event, they would take a look at the list and potentially even make changes to it. Players were split. On one hand, this is exactly what they wanted, a list that took the teeth out of Necroz, but also was adaptable should an unfair deck fill in the vacuum left by this incredibly powerful archetype. But on the other hand, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game owned, operated, and developed by Konami. To many players, that was the only authority in terms of what you were and were not allowed to do. Here comes a third-party organization purporting to let you play a game, but refusing to follow its rules. To many players, this just looked like salty individuals typing no exes synchro link in the notes of a dueling book server. I personally remember Nim Nim, Mega Capital G, and even Simo himself uploading my thoughts videos in which they went over their reactions to this list. They're actually still up if you want to take a look at them, it's very funny. But my understanding was in general, players were cautiously optimistic. I mean, how much damage could it really do? It's a fan format for a third party organization that would only last a couple of months anyway. About a week after ARG format was officially announced, Konami released their own ban list, and for many players, this was the nail in the coffin for Konami's 
exclusive control of the ban list. While they did hit Jin Releaser of Rituals, they left Vanity's Emptiness and Trishula legal. Many players correctly understood that under this ban list, Necroz was as powerful as ever. A week later, the ARG Circuit Series in Charlotte happened, and it's clear by the top 16 that ARG's list, which was designed almost specifically to hit Necroz out of existence, was insufficient. Necroz still dominated the top cut, followed up by the second most represented archetype, Satellar Knight. It turns out, in an unsolved format, the deck playing the most generic trap cards is probably going to be powerful. Now keep in mind, under this list, Necroz did not get Trishula, and still, its advantage loop was enough to outpace anything but the most dedicated and high-rolling Satellar players. Keep in mind, this list was adaptable, and after this, even more action was taken. For now, let's look at one of the top decks. DJ McMelia did well with his Satellar Knight list, which is... Uh, pretty self-explanatory. We've got three Altair, three Deneb, three Anukali, two Vega, two Maxi, three Mystical Space Typhoon, three Reinforcement of the Army, Skybridge, Soul Charge, Triple Upstart Goblin, Bottomless Trap Hole, Triple Call of the Haunted, Triple Fiendish Chain, Double Mind Crush, Double Oasis, Solemn Warning, Triple Satellar Nova Alpha, and Torrential Tribute. In the side deck, we've got Mask of Restrict, which is very, very funny. And of course, we are also packing Triv Air. Many players were frustrated that a deck this unfun and uninteresting was good in this upcoming format, but as players adapt to the changes, I think you'll see that these control decks fall off very quickly. Let's head over to Alex so you can see what Necroz looks like. You know, I've got some mixed feelings about this. Maybe I should make some sort of video talking about the ARG ban list. Uh, one thing I will say, it is nice not seeing Vanity's Emptiness anymore, but a lot of people had mixed feelings about this sort of separation of the Konami standard Yu-Gi-Oh! and then the ARG form of Yu-Gi-Oh! But there were advantages and disadvantages to both. On one hand, you have the opportunity to play more Yu-Gi-Oh! because there's another company that's throwing more events besides Konami. On the other hand, it's not like officially sanctioned and, you know, there's obviously a lot of gray area with that. But, you know, honestly, more Yu-Gi-Oh! isn't necessarily a bad thing at the end of the day. And again, with no Vanity's Emptiness, that means you actually get to play the game. Now, most people look to a deck like Necroz here. I know you guys are sick of seeing this, but this was the best deck at the time. We went through this with Dragon Rulers. I guarantee you, we are almost at the light of the end of the Necroz tunnel. But we're going to have to talk about this a little bit more because because whether we get an official sanctioned Konami ban list or an ARG ban list, Necroz was still the best deck at the time, and we need to see how that deck is able to adapt in a post-ARG ban list environment. So the biggest changes here is that obviously Jin is gone, the Bobble Chain's gone, I think uh, we have Vanny's Emptiness gone as well. Necroz of Unicorn went to one, which means you lose a lot of the graveyard recursion that this deck has, so you can't like continuously recycle your Valks or like your Brios or different things like that. And also not to mention, Necroz of Trishula is banned, and Trishula is one of like the core center pieces that really hold this deck together and one of the strongest power plays the deck offers. So what are you really doing if you don't have Trish anymore, right? Well, you can sort of just bounce stuff back with Brio. I guess that's okay. You can play Unicorn Control with the one copy of Unicorn that you have, which is not impossible, but I mean, it's a little bit difficult because if that Unicorn gets outed, sure, you can cycle it back, but then like you're just living on a prayer at that point. Unicorn is not like by itself the best card ever. And then you have what, like Decisive Armor Beatdown? I mean, I guess this card's okay. But this is what a ARG Necroz deck list looked at this time. And let's be honest, it looks like any other regular deck list. So I don't really need to go too specifically in here because we've already done the Necroz primer a million times. I will touch on some few interesting things such as like Aqua Spirit. So Aqua Spirit's a nice addition because it allows you to do something else in addition to like your Senju or your Manju play, or maybe even pair it with like a Necroz of Unicor. And that way you can go into a rank four if you do get disrupted. So like, that's kind of cool. Denko, obviously, because, you know, against all the back row decks, a Satellar Knight was incredibly popular during ARG format because I think every deck suffered a hit in this format aside from Satellar Knight, which like by default made Satellar Knight the go-to deck then because it didn't really have the opposition of dealing with all the power levels of these other decks. So Denko being in the main deck is a pretty solid call. We're also on Exa and Forcer of the Necroz. I think this is like the first time we've seen this. It's like another Shuret, except instead of searching a warrior, it's some, it uh, adds a dragon instead, which, uh, did you know Decisive Armor was a dragon? That's kind of weird, but you know, it is what it is. I guess it's not actually sure because it's not that good, but it's still like an okay card. It's an okay pitch. This list is also playing Gores, which is fascinating because you don't really need back row in Necroz, and so there is just a way that you could just sort of like pass if you go, you know, do one of your plays with Valk and like end on no field if you're expecting the mirror. Then if they try to go after you, you can just like drop a Gores, and all of a sudden now you actually have a big threat on the field and can push for a lot of damage. So I don't want to say this is like a Trish replacement, but it's like one of the directions that some of the players decided to take the deck. Everything else is pretty standard. I mean, we have the Manjus, the Senjus, the Shurits, the Brios, the Klaus, the Decisive Armor, the Gungnir, the Unicorn, the Valk. Uh, we're playing triple cycle 
cycle, double Kaleido, double mirror. So we're on seven mirrors instead of the usual six. Prep is still at one. Triple Rota though and triple Upstart Goblin. We're just going for max consistency, trying to just make sure that we can do what Necroz does best. But again, without Trishula, we're sort of lacking like our big bomb of a win condition. And so it'll be interesting to see how this deck operates with that being the case. For the side deck, we have our good old Armatile the Chaos Phantasm as our level 12 for Kaleidoscope. We have our Herald of the Arclight. We have our Star Eater. And then for the fours, we have Dweller, Karen Gorgon, uh, a Castell. Dagosto Emerald is a little bit more important in this list than others, just so you can recycle stuff like your Unicorn. So I guess I could see why there's multiple of that in here. Uh, but two was actually starting to become pretty standard by this point. We have a Diamond Dire. Uh, Felgrand is potentially a play we could go into, I, I guess. Uh, Exiton, Cowboy, Draco Sack as well. Diamond Crab King for those Towers matches. And of course, Rhapsody and Berserk. The side, we've got a pair of Ghost Ogres. We have more copies of Gores, which is very funny if you just want to go all in on this strat. Puppet Plant's not a terrible one. Thunder King's pretty good for Mirror and I guess to Teller by extension. Triple MST, Regeki, and Triple Typhoon. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's Necroz at this point, right? There's only so many different things you can do with this deck because at its core, it needs to play so many Necroz cards. Otherwise, it will not be able to function. But I'm very interested to see how this one's going to go. I'm pretty sure Joseph's playing Sateller Knight. And so I need to go jump in the Shirt of Shame because I got wrecked last episode. And hopefully we can get out of it very quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Joseph, welcome to ARG format. Uh, this is the first and last time we will have unofficial formats in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't imagine anything similar happening in uh, maybe a couple of years that uh, some people in this call may have been partially responsible for that no, were received very poorly all. by the community. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Uh, this is uh, this is going to be interesting because I never played in this format. So it's it's just can I just say the amount of research it took us to actually like find anything about this. This has been scrubbed from the Internet, not to mention with some suboptimal web uh, pages that we've had to go through. Uh, yeah. Just looking through these. This is truly a lost relic of Yu-Gi-Oh history. And I think people like when we take these little side paths in the series. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Um We've been ragging a lot on Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Decks, which for the most part has been the mechanism by which we find a lot of these lists. But I would just like to say a quick thank you to Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Decks, uh, whose website makes the ARGCS website uh, look like uh, Twitter before Elon Musk. It's unbelievable. I mean, we were legitimately scrubbing the site for like hours trying to find the stupid banless change that they made in the middle of July, only to stumble upon an old Cap G video with 10K views that explained yep, it. That is the only source that we could find for this because Thanks, anywhere Cap. else on the web, it does not exist. And no one would know. The only reason we know about this, and we'll probably discuss this more in the next video, is the Necroz of Unicor goes from limited to unlimited and then re-limited again in September. And I thought it was strange that it, it was limited twice. So through that, we figured out that there was another ban list in between, which otherwise we never would have discovered. And only the people who actually like competed in these ARGs would know about this. So very fascinating time throughout this game. I'm, I'm just ready to get into it, buddy. This is going to be a cluster like it usually is. Shout oh, out to Patreon. Yes. Ju Young Kang, thank you for the support. You got the hand up, buddy? Uh... Sure. I rolled four, so even. Odd. I, I've just been wow. killing these die rolls recently. I wish I was winning the games. Uh, mine was yeah. one. one what unicorn time. is that? Sort of. Right. <laughs> Sort of, yeah. All right, uh, I, I can only imagine which way you're gonna <laughs> pick yeah. to go with this. Thankfully, Vanity's Emptiness is banned, so honestly, I already like this format. <laughs> All right, let's see if you like it now. Sure, I'll take my thousand. That's fine. Uh oh. I remember why I don't like this deck. Oh, 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 nice, nice Deneb, idiot. Okay, hmm, why would you normal summon Vega and do nothing else? Strange. Just it could, it could be literally anything. So, so strange that you would do that, buddy. I can't imagine why. Okay, you are so generous. Would you like to alpha I, this? You know what? I will actually just take the thousand. That would okay, be a minus sure. 999 if I alpha it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this Klausulus. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we'll grab ourselves a mirror. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna banish the Klausulus for Aqua Spear. <laughs> Jesus, Lord. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have on? <laughs> I can't believe I have to do this. I'm gonna fiendish chain the Aqua Spirit. <laughs> okay, I figured it was worth the shot. That's Yikes. fine. Uh, so I got that out of you. That's pretty good. Let's go Kaleido. Okay, we will um, maxi here, actually. Uh, so we'll go Herald to Grave. Do you have the Unicorn? 
Uh, we'll trigger the Herald. I will say it is weird with Unicorn only being at one. Yeah, see? They knew what they were doing. Uh, I'll just go for a Brio. Then uh, we'll pitch the Brio. You've got Mirror. You know you want to do it, buddy. Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you get your card. My Brio's negated. I am perfectly fine with that. I bet uh, you are. Because I have prep. That's why I'm fine with it. <laughs> so we'll get the other Brio. Yeah. And uh, we'll get this lovely Kaleido out of my grave. Sure. What can I do here? I can make a four. That's kind of cool. I don't find Is there it a four cool that at all? does anything against you? Not particularly. I kind of just like sitting on Unicorn, if I'm being honest. Like, all your threats come from the extra deck, so yeah, I'll just pass. Go ahead. Uh, I think you hear it end step. All right, we are going to Oasis of Dragon Souls at end step. I see. Uh, we're going to grab Vega. Uh, Vega. Vega, summon whatever you drew. <laughs> Of course, of course. All right, let's go get all Max, he drew you one deeper. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, that's it. Uh, draw, stand by main. Uh, buddy, you'd tell me if you had Valk, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn is uh, too big. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. That's why they limited it in the ARG format. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're going to go Deneb and Vega into Diamond Crab King. <laughs> okay. I'm really not happy about it. We're going to go uh, Diamond Crab King effect here. Uh, sure. Which is go... negated, but you just want the material. Yeah, yeah we fine. want Altair target Deneb. Let's keep the rotation going. We'll go Deneb for Altair. No surprise there. <clears throat> go Combat. Try and hit over the Aqua Spirit here. Uh, how much do I care about this Aqua Spirit? <laughs> oh, it's it's mission critical, buddy. If I keep Aqua Spirit. I have access to a rank four. Got all tired hand. Yeah, I'll Valk this. Sure. Really? All right. Uh, so you have Unicor or you have a Bryo Mirror? Kaleido. You know everything. Bryo Mirror Kaleido. Well, I hope I don't get trished. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you. Two more back row. So the other draws. Card in hand is Altair. All right, we'll draw. Uh, let's think about how we want to do this. You can possibly guess... out my Diamond Crab King. Just making sure this thing doesn't have any other random effect that I'm forgetting. This is the towers out, buddy. Why would you play that in this matchup? All right, uh, we're just going to go for the thing that's going to immediately force a response. Oh, right. Activate. Behold, my forced response. Oh, shock. Who would have guessed? <laughs> All right, uh, Rhoda. That's a decent Rota's draw. Bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. We'll take what we can get. Uh, we'll just go mirror. Here to sure it. Uh, we'll bring out the Brio. Trigger the shirt. Get a warrior. I think the only one I've got actually is Mr. Klaus. Uh, we'll go Brio. Target your crab. Not my diamond crab <laughs> king. <laughs> sure. Let's just try to hit. Yeah, sure. I'll take what? Six here? No. Uh, we'll go second main. I don't really think there's like anything much else that I can do at this point. So I guess I'll just pass on the Brio. Doesn't feel great. Uh, the hand is Kaleido uh, Klaus. Klaus. Yep. <laughs> just, uh, see if there's something I'm missing here. Uh, Altair. Uh, Vega. Deneb. Sure. Deneb. That's a nice one. Uh, let's. Uh, this ain't like a quick or something, is it? No. Uh, if only. Oh my god. <laughs> it's really bad because, I mean, obviously it, it gives you a million pieces of material. But if I make Triver here, I get Chain and Oasis back. Yep, it's pretty good. Oh, uh, no, no. That's, it's bad. <laughs> it's so nice, though. I'm going to live the dream here. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> I think you have to. It's too much value. Yeah. All right. Uh, give me Fiendish. Give me Oasis. Give me uh, Vanity's Emptiness. All right. And then we will go for the effect as well. Sure. It's random, right? Yeah. So I'll just roll. All right. Uh, this one. Uh, it was my Klaus. I needed okay. that. Damn. I mean, I don't think you did. You've got a mirror <laughs> in grave. Uh, okay. Battle. Take 21. Yes. You can attack because it is a Stellar Knight. All right, bada bing, bada boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey! And you have a fourth one. It's so good. So good. I'll draw. <laughs> I love Trevor. Stand by. I'm, I'm out here like, should I have made Constellar Diamond? I, I don't think it actually does anything to you. No, it's uh, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's banish our mirror. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know who I want to get rid of. I guess get rid of Klaus. Uh, let's grab ourselves a mirror. 
I'll get that. Yeah. I got to play through four fucking back roads. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you one piece of information. Okay. Uh, Oasis sure. of Dragon Souls and Fiendish Chain are two of them. Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Send you. That's the. That's the ad. What ritual monster do you get that I'm scared of? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Ad <laughs> is. Valk here? That's like annoying. I guess I'll go for decisive armor. Yeah! That shit's decisive! <laughs> uh, we'll mirror. Erm, um, what do I know in your hand? You know, decisive Brio Kaleido. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's get rid of the Shurits. Yep. I mean, they're both just gonna, like, eat the Fiendish Chain, so, like, it literally doesn't fucking matter what I pick here. Yeah, fuck it. We'll bring out Decisive just because he's cool. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think this is the play. You can't keep Decisive in the hand as a combat trick versus Triver. Like, I'm just yeah. gonna get it. We'll try it. Ooh, this guy has an effect, too? He does, yeah. All right, let me read this card for the first time to target time a set card and just uh, destroy it. And if I do banish it, so I'll target uh, one of these eventually here. All right, we'll just simplify things. I'm going to feed a chain here. Okay, sure. Uh, Well, that was a fun turn. I know you have all tire in hand from the search off to Neb, right? You do. Oh, great. Fun, 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 fun. I guess I'll just Brio. Yeah. I'll give Valk. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Uh, this is a little upsetting, but I think I do have to not Oasis here. So we're going to stand by main. Yep. Uh, Triver again. Sure. See if we can't hit that Valk. Uh, roll him. 50-50. I hate you. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> uh, Altair. Let's grab yep. Deneb. Uh, I guess we're grabbing a Knuckleye here. Uh, really in no hurry. A little unfortunate. I'm going to overlay here for Emerald. Little unfortunate, he says, when he's up like 900 cards. Yeah. Uh, Altair, or we'll Emerald, and we'll go Altair, Altair, Deneb. Makes sense to me. Got to keep the rotation going. We. Uh, I'm I'm laughing for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, sure. Of course not. Let's just go to combat here. I'm gonna walk with the Senju. Take seven. Uh, yeah. Second main. We'll set one more. Uh, go ahead. I'll draw. Oh, look, a card <laughs> that does fucking absolutely nothing. Yeah, this is this is going well. This is going well. Uh, all right, we're going to go Oasis at end step, target Vega. Sure. Yeah. Vega, target, uh, summon a Nukalai. A Nukalai, mm -hmm. send Deneb. Sure. Is that anyone's game? Stand by main. Is that anyone's game? Uh, I think this is just literally lethal. Uh, we're going to overlay these two for Castell. That is 41, 51. Uh, that is not lethal. Uh, get him out of here. <laughs> No effect. <laughs> now it's lethal. All right. All right. Give me out of this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how people did it, Joseph. Like, I'm not good with this stack. I fully understand that. And I imagine the comments are going to be like, oh, Simo, you should have done this, this, that, that, but, that, 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 that. but like without Trish, I, I don't know what the fuck you're doing with this deck. If your deck is nothing without Trish, then you don't deserve Trish. That's Evidently what, that's not. That's what I'm saying. All right. Oh, Let's see how this, this one goes. Oh, I'll tell you this. I'm really going to be glad about that extra card for this hand. Yeah, honestly, I'm looking at this hand. I'm wishing I went second. I will be honest, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. All right. Uh, main. Well, actually, this thing is not bad. Uh, we'll go Brio. Oh, oh, this hand is pee pee Brio. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 not ideal. I'll be honest. Uh, we'll get Unicorn. Yeah. Uh, we'll go Klaus. <clears throat> yeah. We'll get Kaleido. Yeah. I'll do the boring play. Show me Maxi. Wow, this man opened fucking Unicorn twice. That's fine. Get rid of the Herald. Bring out the Unicorn. Trigger the Herald. Dude. What I like the most about this play is that it's, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn! So great, isn't it? Oh, he ain't never seen this before. Trapaholics. I kind of... Okay, this is funny. I kind of want Gungnir just to, like, play protect the one Unicorn. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I uh, it, it are, are, doesn't seem bad. It seems... Awful. But... <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> uh, let me let me try to guarantee some follow up here. I'll just get another Brio. Ooh. Uh, and then I'm gonna set one and pass. That's literally my whole time. Stand by main. <laughs> All right, do your worst. Okay, upstart. <laughs> That's my worst. Okay. All right, that helps me not oh. die, so I'll take it. <laughs> uh, MST the back row. You fool! <laughs> oh, okay. That actually, I mean, that's uh, that's pretty important, to be honest. Against your deck, it is pretty important. God, yeah. what? You this, have a lot of continuous This shit. deck legitimately should be playing Utopia. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, 
uh, fucking... Are you telling the ARG players that they were wrong? Yes. Uh, normal Vega. That's fine. <laughs> Set three. I oh, literally could I, be We've anything. seen this one before. Could literally we've be seen anything. this one before. All right. Yeah. Anything in standby. No. All right. Eat this, idiot. Normal Denko. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Attack. Okay. Uh, how much is this? 11. Yeah. 17. I ate it. That's not good. <laughs> uh, second main. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you even had a set. All right. Altair. Target Vega. Sure. Sure. <sighs> I don't fucking know, dude. Who provides the most utility into your dumb shit face-up card? <laughs> Diamond Crab King. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's not Diamond Crab. I'll tell you that. It ain't Diamond Crab. I can't crab kill him. Game. He's 3,000. We'll just go combat here. Gonna crash. Yeah, Valk. Yeah, I figured. Oh, uh, get rid of Klaus. Oh, this is disastrous. Um, Okay. Ooh, hmm. Time for the Diamond Crab King to make it appear. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> you laughed. I can't out him. <laughs> I think you've got some outs in there somewhere. Uh, I've got a few. Let's go normal Senju. Yeah. Uh, who do we want? Another Valk seems good, just so you can't out me. Can I just kill you this turn? That would be more ideal. Danko Seka. I'm losing my mind. Just have to clear the fucking Crab King. Uh, we'll go Klaus. Yeah. Uh, pitch Klaus. Let me get... S cycle? <coughs> sure. Pitch Brio. Get... Sure it. Yes. Uh, yeah, you got it. Uh, Danko Seka. Yeah, I figured out how this deck wins. You just draw Danko. <laughs> yeah, it, it worked. It, it, yeah, that's what it does. Uh, Rhoda. Sure. Uh, we are going to grab Deneb. Uh, Vega. Deneb. Deneb. Yep. Man, the thing about this combo is it's so interesting. Yeah, isn't it? I think the oh, most interesting like part a... about it is when you set the three other back row in your hand. I actually don't have very many back row, which is going to be a disaster. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do with these two. Let's just uh, let's just keep them on field for some uh, undisclosed oh, hmm. reason. Wonder why. Uh, oh. <laughs> doesn't have many back row, he says. Doesn't All have right, many asshole. Back row. You better not have Denko. Standby, main. Yeah. Denko. I have solemn warning this time. <laughs> oh, okay. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, it's not TK ideal. down. Well, uh, Klausulus. Yep. <clears throat> Go for a Kaleido. Yeah, three games in a row. Incredible. Kaleido. <laughs> yeah, it's a one. It's a one, by the way. It is at one. What are you, what are you worried about, buddy? What are you worried yeah, about? What right. am I worried about? Unicorn. Yeah. Uh, Harold. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll get Valk. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, we'll try it. What happens here? If I attack the Neb, you just get a search. I could attack Vega, which you can bring back Vega and like, okay, whatever. You're going to make three things anyway. So yeah, I'll attack the Vega. Yeah, sure. I'll take uh, 11 here. And I got a back row in the end phase. I'll just grab that. Your Vega's gone, sir. Stand by me. Yep. Upstart. I'll take the thousand. Wow. That's a good one. Altair. Who would have seen this coming? Vega, uh, a knuckle eye. It's annoying, but not the end of the world. <coughs> no, get that guy out of here. Well, um, this sucks because you could just do whatever. This is bleak. Yeah, because like now you have three guys to make like a Deltaros, but now I have Valk, so you can't kill I'm Unicorn aware. anyway. This is why they put the card to one. You just play fucking Unicorn Control. I guess. Yeah, we'll go. All right, we'll go Deltaros. He uh... is quite large and in charge. It's not large enough. You got to force the Valk, so you got it. <clears throat> yeah. Get rid of you. Uh, second main, I'm just going to set one and pass. Anything standby? Nope. Main one. Normal yeah. send you. Grab decisive armor. Uh, Battle. Over. No response to this. We'll activate decisive armor. I take what, eight here? You'll take eight, yes. Delteros. Got him. Uh... Altair. Danep. Sure. They're Altair. Do I have uh, to summon him in defense? Yeah, he comes in attack. Yeah, he's in attack. This guy is Deneb's in defense. defense. Yeah. yeah. Not that it matters because I have a send you. Uh, <laughs> second main. Second main. So what are we looking at here? You have another Deneb off the Altair. I know you sent one off the Nickel High, so you have that guaranteed. Possibly have a rank or play, possibly to like a Traver. You might be on a second Delta Rose potentially. Uh, space the back row. Uh, it's space. 
Throne space, I see. Uh, let's go for the good old main phase two exiton. Yeah. And we will just clean up. Yep. It's not ideal, but it stops you from going into like <clears throat> a million dudes. So yes, it I think does. it's fine. Uh, go ahead. Stand by me. I'll tie here. Yep. Uh, we'll grab Deneb here. Shocker. I know. It's really Who would have really thought? Uh, it's, it's not perfect, you know. Um, We're on a very low resource game here. Grab Vega. Uh, Did you draw the other Deneb? Or are you just grabbing Vega? Interesting. Oh, you can't get Deneb with Deneb. Oh, yeah. You can't get Deneb. What am I thinking? Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank God, by the way. Uh, My brain is just rotting from us playing these decks for like the ninth time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd really like to go for uh, Emerald here, but I don't want to give you, like, the freest activation of all time. Uh, we'll just go 101. Sure. Give me a guy. It's all yours. All right, back to you. I'll draw. That's not a bad one. Oh, no, that card's actually crazy. Uh, oh, so we'll great. go Kaleido. Yeah. Let's get rid of... I kind of like having decisive armor, if I'm being honest. I don't think I need him anymore, so we'll get rid of him. Let's grab ourselves a cycle. Yeah. Rhoda. Oh, that's insane. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty good. We'll get Shurit. Yep. Activate cycle. Yep. Get rid of Shurit. Bring back the Unicorn. Yeah. Activate the Shurit. We will get ourselves a Brio. Yep. And uh, we will just take out the 101. Uh, I will take, what, 200 here? Two. Yep. Disastrous. Second main, I will pitch the Brio. Let's just get a Valk. I bet. Just wall up. And uh, Unicorn Control, baby. All you need. It's not bad. So I know you have Vega, two unknowns. Yeah. So we'll go Vega, a Nukalai. Sure. Uh, I think I'm actually just not going to activate it. <laughs> <Don't go lie. laughs> That's fine. enough guys left. Ah, there's just not a... Two, th th like, this deck just needs to be playing Utopia for this. <laughs> I don't think I can force it out. I'll overlay these two for Tolmaius. <laughs> sure. Battle. Okay. Main two. To go diamond. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> Tolmaius is the only two, Matt. Back to you. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Stand by main. So let me see what I can and can't do here. So can't send cards from deck to grave, which is kind of irrelevant for me. <laughs> and any card that returns from the graveyard to the hand is banished. That's sort of actually relevant for me. Uh, if you had more than one unicorn, it'd be yeah, relevant. Yeah, if I had more than one unicorn, that would be sort That's why I said sort of relevant, Joseph. Sort of relevant. Mm. So at this rate, your plan is to what? Run me out of... Valks. Valks? Yeah. I don't love it. It's not a great plan. I mean, if it gets the job done, I guess. I'll just take out the back row. Mm, it's alpha. And, uh, yeah, I'll just pass. Stand by main. Why? So, like, I can Valk this, but the, the, the question is, how am I outing this? <laughs> I need to hit one of my million cards that does something. Okay, well, Valk. I may as well try. Uh, let's get rid of the other Valk. <coughs> uh, I will set one, and then you're you're good to go. Stop drawing back row, please. The All rest right, of the deck is back row. You've seen every monster. I know. Uh, I'm going to Rota. The problem is my hand's kind of iffy. I'm going to take Klaus seems insane it would seem insane except for the fact that like i don't really have anything i can do with it i think i just have to pass <laughs> oh buddy you're not ready for this rhoda oh who would have thought the deck of Deneb. all warriors sure isn't this your last one this is your last it could one. be normal deneb grab a knuckle eye i hope you like back row <laughs> And attack. All right, so I take four finally. I have fallen. finally we did it. Fifteen. Go ahead. Draw. Yes. You know. <laughs> wow, that's ridiculous. Just insane. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Um. I thought this card was banned. Oh my God. Nope. That's the next Not list. yet. <laughs> that's list. a different ARG list. All right. All right. Uh. So now I have access to my one mirror. May as well. Yeah. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you. Okay. Can I even... Uh, I'm going to grab mirror. Yep. And I am just going to pass. I bet. Uh, a knuckle eye. Wow. Gores. You really have... You're <laughs> fucking with me. Oh my 
Why is this deck playing cores? It's fucking 2015, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, not a lot I can do about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. More back row. Okay. Uh, I still don't think I have a line that kills you, so I'll just go battle. Uh, token into a knuckle eye. That's fine. And then uh, 27. Uh, second main? What the fuck is your back row? You got fucking alpha. You would have alpha gores like 100%. Haven't gone through many Oasis yet, which is a bit concerned. I, you are like basically out of monsters at this rate. I don't really want to waste this. I will pass. Okay. Send my man. Yep. Uh, upstart. Sure. Draw. Yeah. Uh, I could just attack for lethal, not committing to anything else. That sounds like a good idea. Let's try it. Uh, I'm gonna call here. Target. Daneb. Space the call. Yeah, so you just fucking drew Gore's Raigeki space in a row. <laughs> you got it. Oh my god. Mind crush. Oh, okay. And you had Torrential, Agony. so I had a send you that I could have summoned, but yeah, I, I needed you too. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that was terrible. That was uh, awful. I should oh not have won god. that. Well, <laughs> no shot, know, I should have won this. Is sometimes. You, you do. <laughs> really nothing to say about this, to be honest. Um, wow. the, the, this Necroz list is, is pretty deep in on the uh, playables. Um, I mean, obviously, Gores was not something that was on my radar. <laughs> this deck wasn't on just one Gores, Joseph. It was on three Gores. Oh, really? Jesus yeah. Christ. Well, I, no I think the theory was the fact that since you, the, the only back row this deck plays, uh, it wasn't on MST or Typhoon in the main, obviously. Yeah. Uh, the only back row I think it was, uh, I, is it even playing anything? I may have sided out. It may have had something in the main board, like maybe like mm -hmm. one or two traps, but just being able to drop Gores because this deck doesn't play any other cards whatsoever besides from just like in the front row, just having like another gigantic dude just to be able to swing things around. Like I sort of get it. It came out of the sideboard. I think there was one in the main deck two in the side and for this game when i knew i was going second i just brought them all in just because i figure yeah against your deck it would have been nice just to have something that could defend me that wasn't like a valk in the instance of not me not being able to do anything i will say not having trish makes a world of difference for this fucking deck let me tell you yeah i mean it makes a world of difference but unicorn control is still pretty good i can't believe they changed it to three afterwards one thing i really appreciated was uh just like when we were playing necroz mirrors way back when i do think that this game pretty much came down to like uh the last remaining monsters in the deck uh there was a time when i had torrential plus mind crush and i was like oh i can probably keep you off the last guys you have by just mind crushing the last like cycle or something oh sure because sure. there's not like a crazy kaleido uh a target afterwards and then i'm just trying to like oasis and dragon call my way to a knuckleize to just yeah. poke in uh so i guess gores does really resolve that problem nicely yeah i mean it's not terrible in that sense i actually held the mst because i thought you may go end phase <laughs> If this card, I thought this may have been a call. So I thought you were going to yeah. go like end phase, call or oasis, go the whole distance so that I can MST snap it. So that way you didn't even get that opportunity. So uh, I could have said it, but it just then if I said it, I can't use it in your end phase there. I had this mirror and this Klaus. And so the problem was I was waiting for an opportunity just to bring something better back because I could have summoned this Klaus with the mirror because I had the, uh, the what's it called? The shirt and grave. It just felt, aside from the fact that I guess it technically negates the effect of something you special from the extra deck. It's so weak. It just kind of sits there. I was hoping to just draw any like bigger dude that I could just summon and be like, all right, cool. Now this is actually worth playing. And then Klaus was there just to make sure I get the correct spell if I didn't, uh, you know, draw into a way to get to mirror at that point. But it's interesting to see like how the priorities in the deck shifted. I think three sure it is pretty crazy and I could like see why they choose to limit it in the next list just because it adds so much consistency to the deck that's already like infinitely consistent but again unicorn is crazy as well and so I don't know how they ultimately end up making the decision to like bring back one to three and like limit the other to one because in this exact instance any deck that like it, it just doesn't matter like unicorn is just your all-star mm -hmm. versus uh you know the f foregone trish and then you're fine like you just you just sit on it and then you have plenty of cards that can deal with everything else. Gung can pop, Valk can protect, Decisive Armor's gigantic, and then you just slowly whittle them away.
So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tiramzu Zero X3, Moto, MBT Play Medulce, Cameron Smith, Pony Stark Part 2, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Manhoban, Phoenix the Immortal, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, Valen Jackson, Dylan Hunter, Cody Brett's Extremely Vulgar Man, Little Fade Leaf, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Hornet in Unit Tie Show, TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Max, Matthew Brady, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515. Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, Simping for Simo, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Dalton LGMBTQ, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Wonder Waffle, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed or Boyfriends, MBT Cancel by All Community Soon, Cancel by All Committee Soon, Cancel by All Players Soon, All Yus, Unis the Bus, The Undertaker vs. Simo and MBT, Shrugs X, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, and Corvain. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.